کشتار و نسل کشیشی ایان هزاره در افغانستان، پاکستان و هند به عنوان فجیع ترین رویداد قرن حاضر توجه خاص مجامع بین المللی و سازمان های حقوق بشری را می طلبد. هزاره ها تقریبا بزرگترین قومیت شیعه در افغانستان، پاکستان و هند به شمار می روند که به جرم پیروی از اسلام علوی توسط سنی های تند رو در قالب داعش و طالبان و دیگر گروه های تروریستی قتل عام می شوند. گستره جغرافیای حضور شیعیان هزاره شامل کشورهای افغانستان، پاکستان، هند، ایران، نیوزلند، استرالیا و بخشهایی از اروپا و آمریکا می باشد. با وجود قرنها زندگی مسالمت آمیز و صلح طلبی شیعیان هزاره در کشورهای مختلف اما همیشه مورد آزار و عذیت پیروان اسلام دروغین قرار گرفتند. علی اکبری اخبار شیعه با همین موضوع گفتگوی داشتم با دکتر سنگی سیرینگ از واشنگتن و از ایشان پرسیدم در ابتدا از ریشه شیعیان هزاره بفرمایید. Uh, which is a Mongolian word for tribe. There are four or five different uh, tribes. Uh, they collectively form Amar, uh, like Firoz Gohi, Jimshidi, Hazara, and we have the Temani and Temuri. And most of these, uh, uh, an overwhelming majority of these uh, Amar uh, tribes, they uh, follow the 12 Shia religion, and that is why I think Hazara became synonymous with uh, with the being Shia, but there are also other um, uh, smaller tribes which follow um, Sunni Islam as well as the Shia Ismaili um, uh, uh, sect. So I think uh, there is a mix of uh, uh, different religious communities that exist within the same tribe. But the fact remains that um, in in afghanistan whenever the hazaras are targeted most of them the time they are the shias but then in uh, instances for instance the ghor province in herat and in baghlan in other cases there were sunni hazaras which were uh, targeted uh, uh, and uh, just being being part of the hazara community so i think they are uh, facing you can say a double whammy where you know they are being targeted for certain Uh, racial makeup as well as uh, following a uh, certain religion. So in Pakistan, the Hazaras, they migrated centuries ago to uh, f uh, escape uh, uh, Shia genocide, persecution, and then they found protection against the British. At that time, the British, they were fighting against the Afghan uh, um, uh, regime. So Hazaras joined the British army, and in many instances, they uh, pursued their career in in the military and attacked Afghanistan along with the other British soldiers from India. درباره وضعیت کشتار و نسل کشی شیعیان هزاره توضیحی بفرمایید. There's a genocide going on uh, which is uh, going on for centuries and we'll uh, talk about it in modern context like how it is uh, Uh, impacting the Hazaras today, especially what is going uh, on in Afghanistan and Pakistan um, now with, uh, with Pakistani military's involvement and their support to the Taliban and the uh, attacks that Taliban are carrying out against the Hazaras, as well as Taliban's uh, explicit as well as uh, indirect support to TTP uh, that is also impacting uh, the Shia community there. Um, so Hazaras, they claim themselves to be the local uh, indigenous community. Are the Hazaras only in Afghanistan in the attack? In Quetta city, for instance, obviously they are going to stand out and uh, they would be targeted every time. Um, they, uh, the the anti-Shia gangs, which are supported by the Pakistani military, they plan targets against Shias. Um, So this is something that is uh, very unfortunate. They live in Pakistan in different places where you know they have to live in ghettos, in, in uh, enclaves, um, and and they uh, cannot really freely move around. They cannot really take up uh, take good jobs. 
because there's always a fear that they will be targeted uh, when they are um, trying to pursue their, you know, uh, their livelihoods. Uh, there is no protection from the government. There is no protection from the army. The police has refused to protect the Hazaras in Pakistan because they think that it is um, Hazaras' duty to just, you know, uh, just shut themselves in their enclaves as that as the best strategy to protect themselves, which is, I think, impacting their psychological welfare as well as their economic and uh, welfare and uh, livelihood. Um, now in Afghanistan, both ICs and TTP and uh, and the Taliban, they all they get, get encouraged by Pakistani military to um, uh, attack Hazaras because ethnic cleansing really help uh, Pakistani back militant and terrorist groups. This is something that I think we we must um, realize that there are huge spots of land, agriculture land that belong to the Hazaras, and they're not being cleared and uh, given to the pro-Taliban and uh, uh, pro, um, uh, you know, e extremist um, uh, groups um, and this is something that is causing um به عنوان آخرین سوال آقای دکتر بفرمایید بهترین راه برای نجات شیعیان هزاره را چه میدونید؟ And I, I believe that if we really want um, some control um, uh, to happen against Hazara genocide right now, then I think we need to um, collectively ask the United Nations to um, pressure Pakistani military from, um, uh, you know, because the Pakistani military is openly supporting ethnic uh, and religious groups that attack Hazara. So I think Pakistan need to be investigated, their military need to be investigated for Hazara genocide in Afghanistan as well as in Pakistan in places like Quetta and Karachi and other places. So I think this is something that um, uh, is a collective responsibility of all uh, those uh, human rights organizations that uh, are working in Afghanistan and Pakistan as well as in the West to um, take this matter seriously and help the Hazaras which are currently uh, helpless and nowhere to go. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.